We, the jury, by unanimous verdict, find the defendant, John Frederick Sander, to be guilty of first-degree murder. A breaking news update in the murder trial of Jonathan Sander. You heard the verdict from a Wake County jury. But this disturbing case is not over yet with the sentencing phase set to begin soon. CBS 17's Robert Richardson is live in Wake County tonight. Robert. Yeah, Angela, attorneys typically tell juries in ca after capital convictions that they've already decided that the defendant will spend the rest of his or her life in prison. But now these 12 men and women will return to decide if John Sander will die from natural causes or if he is to be executed. Loved ones laid hands on Sal Mazzella as he waited for the verdicts. Guilty of first degree murder of Sandy Mazzella on the basis of premeditation malice and deliberation. Mazzella dropped his head back as the jury convicted John Sander of murdering Mazzella's son Sandy, wife Elaine, and daughter-in-law Stephanie. As Mazzella left the courtroom soon after, his family's killer called out to him. I'll see you soon, Sal. Have a nice day. It wasn't as heated as Sander's outburst the first day of the trial when Mazzella was on the witness stand. You're telling me I blasted Mr. through the Lord Mr. 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 Sander. Mr. Sander, Mr. Sander, that was in front of the jury, but Monday's moment wasn't. However, it could be presented as evidence to the jury Tuesday. During your sentencing phase, so you need to be careful. Do you understand? Put me to death. That's what's happening anyway. It's framed. All right. That's the way it is. And justice will be served. Sander made some similar statements Thursday when he declined to testify. I don't need to testify. All right. The truth will come out. Judge Graham Shirley agreed and affirmed that justice will be served. That is the aim of this court, sir. We will be in recess until 9 30 tomorrow morning. And that was Sander telling the judge, you have a good day, sir, similar to what he said to Sal Mazzella. Now, attorneys for both sides will again call witnesses starting on Tuesday to make their cases for or against why Sander should or should not be sent to death row. CBS 17 will continue to cover this case. Reporting live at the Wake County Justice Center in Raleigh, Robert Richardson, CBS 17 News.